rivers all morning long, but it's going to be a very warm day today, right? It's going to be a very warm day. Temperatures will be in the 80s. Uh, so, yeah, the temperatures are going to be uh, above average uh, today and tomorrow, and I think we're going to fall back close to average towards the latter part of the week. Uh, but that's, of course, where the, when the rain comes as well. Uh, this is the view through our North Oaks Medical Center camera, and you can see we've got some mostly cloudy skies out in that direction and across southeast Louisiana, and that cloud cover is going to stay with us for, uh, for several hours this morning, but I think the sun will be out later this morning and into the into the afternoon. The Pearl River at Pearl River, 19.85 feet. Uh, their flood stage is 14 feet, so they are well above flood stage there. We're also following, of course, the Chifuncta River over in Covington, uh, 23.01 feet at 430. The flood stage is 20 feet, so they're over three feet above flood stage. They had a Bogachita and Franklinton, 15.59 feet. Uh, 12 feet is their flood stage. They are well above flood stage. And the Tangipahoa River over at Robert, the reading at 430 a.m. was 21.8 seven feet and their flood stage is 15 feet. So they are well above flood stage there as well. Here's the big picture. A lot of activity across the northeastern part of the country, the Great Lakes states and out west as well. Uh, that's our big our next big weather maker as it makes its way across the country. It'll get here uh, Thursday, it looks like, make its way across southeast Louisiana, then kind of stall out along the coastline and stay that way for Friday and into Saturday as the low pressure area makes its way across southeast Louisiana. But right now we've got this frontal boundary that's just off to the west of us, not going to create some issues for us for the most part is a dry issue. There's a slight chance we might see a couple of showers across parts of the North Shore, but a very low chance of that happening. I think we're going to have a mostly rain free day today, a rain free day tomorrow, and then that rain chance goes up to like a 20% chance on our Wednesday. Hey, this area, the flood warning for the urban and small streams uh, for Southern Tangipaho Parish that was supposed to expire this morning. The National Weather Service has extended that until 445 uh, this afternoon. That's affecting over 26,000 people. Uh, so something you definitely need to be aware of that is mainly south of uh, Highway 190, and that is due to all the river flooding that's been taking place. So that area is under a flood warning. So please keep that in mind if you travel that area uh, during this time of the morning. Here's a look at the uh, the forecast model. Notice how the cloud cover mo moves out of the area as we go through the morning and into the afternoon. The rainfall potential moves out as well. So some uh, mostly sunny skies is what I'm expecting this afternoon. Some really warm temperatures as well. Uh, the possibilities this we can see a little bit of fog uh, move in tonight and into the morning, but not much uh, rainfall potential showing up at all for your Tuesday morning or your Tuesday afternoon and into Wednesday. That's when our rainfall chances start going up, but I've got it at about 20% uh, chance for Wednesday, but that goes up on Thursday and Friday. Our rain chances go up to like 50, uh, 40 to 50% on those days, and that stretches into our Saturday as well. But notice uh, temperatures are in the 80s today and tomorrow, and then we're back into the 60s. Uh, mid to upper 60s on Friday, Saturday, and Palm Sunday. Uh, Susan right now is looking pretty good, but uh, today and tomorrow, pretty warm. All right.